Our neighbor adjacent to router 3 is now down as well. We are seen active. So if I do a show route in router 2's routing table, we do not have reachability to the 3 networks. The 3 network or the 33 network anymore. So let's go ahead and test our firewall filter from router 2's standpoint. Let's see if I can still ping 23.23.23.3, which is router 3. And you can see that we are successful. So what I'm going to show you, and you might be wondering, well, why are you doing this? Good question. What I'm going to show you is the default policy. If we take off this term on R3, if I do a show configuration, what I'm going to do under the firewall filter block BGP, the term T2 I'm going to take off, and I'm going to show you exactly what happens, what the default action of a firewall filter is, if we don't have this showing to accept all other traffic, the second term. So let's do this. We'll go under Edit Firewall Filter Block BGP. We're going to do Set Term T2. Actually, we'll just do this. We'll just do Delete Term T2. Now we'll do a Show. And you can see that we only have one term, which is T1, which is to block port 179, which is BGP, or reject. Let's go ahead and commit this. And right away, you can see, once we did that commit, we lost reachability to router 3's interface. And that is because if we do a show on R3, under our filter block BGP, we no longer have term T2, which, w which allowed all other traffic except for BGP traffic. And so our ping, that's why our ping was successful before. So once we took off that term T2, what I wanted to show you is the rule of the implicit deny all at the end of the firewall filter. So it's very important that if you're creating a firewall filter to deny traffic, that you get that traffic denied. And then if you want to accept traffic, that you put in an implicit permit any pretty much at the end, or accept all other traffic. Because if you don't, as you can see, all that traffic is going to be denied with the implicit deny all. So very, you have to be very careful when creating your firewall filter. OK, so there's a lot that you learned in this lab. And there's a lot going on that I wanted to show you. Again, what you can also do on the router that you created the firewall filter, you can do the command show firewall and hit enter. And you can see that we have the two filters that we created, which was block ICMP and block BGP. So there's some options you can use to show the firewall options, so like show firewall log, nothing there right now, or show firewall counter. And we're not counting anything right now. Even if I put in, say, R3 block BGP, we did we don't have a counter name. So, so we'll show you that maybe in a later lab. But I just wanted to show you right now some of the default properties of firewall filters, how to create a basic firewall filter. So I hope you've learned a lot from this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.